to get an hourglass shape figure part two. Bing, 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 bing. If you want to know how to get a Coke bottle shaped body, then keep watching because this video and all of the videos in this series actually are for you. Today, specifically, I'm going to show you the best exercises to get wider hips. But before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I post a new video every single Sunday and you don't want to miss that. If you want to get my videos a day or two earlier and also some members only like bloopers, rough cut scenes, stuff like that. Make sure you hit the join button as well. I'm going to be adding more perks as we go along, so you don't want to miss out on that either. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Devin Janelle. Thank you so much for coming to watch this video today. Before we jump into the workout, let's start off with some facts. Let's start off with some education, some genetics. Everyone, everyone has different genetics. Everyone's body structure is different and some people are naturally born with wider set hips and some people are naturally born with more narrow set hips and there's not really much that we can do to change that. However, obviously muscle sits on top of our bones. So like when you look at someone, you don't just see their bones. You see fat and muscle. And so the combination of all of those things makes up how we look and so it is very very possible to shape your body how you want it to be shaped. So today, we are gonna work out the muscles around your hips that can make them look wider. To build the appearance of wider hips, we are really, really gonna be focusing in on a little tiny muscle called the gluteus maximus that's on the side of your booty. A lot of people call this muscle the side booty because whenever you stand from the front, it is going to be the muscle that gives you a curvy shape. And we're gonna be working all of the leg muscles because when you have thick legs then you just look more curvy from the front, from the side, from the back, from all angles. So we're going to be making sure that we hit all of those muscle groups so we can have a sculpted appearance from all angles. So how do you activate the gluteus medius? The gluteus medius is activated by external rotation. So any movement where you externally rotate your legs is going to make that muscle work. A super easy way to make that muscle work, and one that we are definitely gonna be taking advantage of today, is to add resistance bands to your workout. When you have a resistance band on, that gluteus medius muscle is constantly going to be pushing the legs out against a resistance band to keep it up, and it's gonna make it work. It's gonna make it burn. So good. Always wanna start with glute activation. If you've watched any of my other videos about glutes, building hips, building legs, whatever, then you know that the glutes are a super lazy, 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 super lazy muscle group. All they wanna do is chill. We can't let them do that, okay? Because we wanna grow them, we want them to grow. And so you always wanna make sure that you start off with a glute activation warm up. This is gonna wake them up so they are ready to go, especially if you have issues with always feeling exercises in your quads or your hammies. Do not skip this step. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Click the little, I think it's over here. Ugh, I'm always wrong. Click the little info card right here and go do a glute activation warm up first, okay? To grow any muscle, you wanna make sure that you're using a weight that is challenging enough for you and makes you struggle and strain and push yourself, but you wanna make sure that it's light enough to where you can use correct form, complete all the reps and sets, and control the weight. Okay. If you're new, I always, always, always recommend starting at body weight exercises. That way you can master the form, the mind-muscle connection, and all of the other really, really important factors that go along with weightlifting. Now, if you're ready to hop on into the workout, make sure you smash that like button and we'll get started. All right, first up, you already know my favorite exercise for any type of glute development, including wider hips, we've got a hip thrust. And since we're focusing on the gluteus medius, we added a resistance band. So we have some banded dumbbell hip thrusts. If you're in the gym, use a barbell, especially if you need to load more weight. I'm just using a dumbbell because I'm at home and that's what I have. You can use a dumbbell. If you're new, then I would definitely recommend body weight exercises. We're doing four sets of 12 to 15 reps of the hip thrusts. And then after you complete that, we're jumping right into banded fire hydrants. Ooh. This one burns so bad. I was literally dying 
it burns so bad, but you got it. Keep pushing. I'm using a medium band, so there are different levels of tension in resistance bands, and so if you need to go down a level, then do that. Just make sure you can complete the reps with good form and feel that burn. We're doing four sets of 15 reps per leg, and this is a superset with the hip thrusts. Next up, we have another one of my favorite glute exercises. We're doing a banded glute bridge. Make sure to push through your heels, and we're doing three sets of 12 to 15. This is another superset, so as soon as you're finished with this, we're gonna move right into the next exercise. The next exercise is frog pumps. Very similar to a glute bridge, but the feet position is changed, and so your legs are externally rotated more than they are in a glute bridge, which activates the gluteus medius. So we're gonna be doing three sets of 20 for this exercise. For the next superset, we're gonna be starting off with side lunges. We're doing three sets of 10 to 12 reps. This was one of the hardest exercises for me to get down with form. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you start with body weight until you're super comfortable with this movement. That way you can make sure that you're activating it in your glutes and your gluteus medius and not as much in your legs. supersetting those side lunges with one of my favorite burnout and activation exercises. Straight leg clams. I feel like this exercise is amazing at working the side booty. So really just focus on squeezing those glutes. So really just focus on squeezing those glutes. It helps me to keep my heel kind of externally rotated toward the ceiling. I feel like I get better activation of my glutes that way. So if you're having trouble, just try that out and see if it helps you. We're doing three sets of 15 reps per leg. Superset, you're almost there. For this superset, we're gonna start off with a dumbbell abduction. This exercise is a lot more challenging than it looks because you have to focus on balancing on one leg as you're abducting the other leg. So make sure you choose an appropriate weight, again, that challenges you but allows you to complete all
Then you'll start the superset over. You're almost there, you got it. Alrighty, and that completes this workout. Now that you're done, it is super, super important that you go and fuel up on some food. Whenever you're trying to grow muscles, you need to eat in a caloric surplus or at least in a caloric maintenance. So make sure you go fuel your body. I really, really hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, make sure you let me know in the comments below and smash that like button. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.